Consumer Protection has just released our top 10 consumer complaints, and these come from the over 11,300 complaints received from consumers in writing. Um, this year, uh, we topped the consumer complaint list with telemarketing and landlord-tenant issues, telecommunications, home improvement, and then we have, Laura's gonna cover the number five here. Right, medical services um, has come up two spots, right? The Absolutely. second time um, it's been on the list and it's already risen to the second or the fifth spot on the list, dealing with predominantly medical billing, um, issues with their services. This is an important, uh, it's, it's an important new issue for us to be thinking about because the governor has issued an executive order this year asking DAGCAP and some other agencies to think about ways in which we can protect consumers um, in this space. And this data is going to be useful for us to understand what kind of consumer scams um, consumers might be being affected by in, this, in the area of medical billing. And then rolling out the list from six through 10, we have identity theft. And then the last four categories actually all deal with the motor vehicle, um, if you can believe that. So we have motor vehicle repair, gas pumps, motor vehicle sales, both used and new combined, and then fuel quality issues. And we'll get into the details behind those, but it kind of surprised us that all things um, at the bottom deal with the motor vehicle. And at the same time, doesn't surprise us because everyone's in and about their vehicles to get place to place in Wisconsin. I think the, the real surprise for us is the identity theft. It went down a slot or two. Um, it's at number six and there's 250 complaints. The thing we don't want consumers to do is relax um, in, as a result of that sliding down. Um, the IRS and the Department of Revenue have really worked hard as it relates to tax identity theft to put measures in place for prevention. And we have worked really hard to get messaging out there so consumers don't fall victim. The federal government has put in place free security freezes um, starting last September so consumers can protect their credit reports from identity thieves. And so that's another free tool that's available for consumers. But we don't want consumers to get lax about this because they still need to be on guard as it relates to who they're sharing their data with. Um, are they pushing back and asking questions instead of just handing over the data when they're asked for it? Because that will lead to other forms of identity theft outside of tax ID theft. Um, we do have an increase in home improvement. Uh, complaints this year, but is it because the economy is better and more people are, are maintaining their homes and, and doing expansions? Or we had a number of floods, hail, storms, and weather this year, severe weather cases that maybe they're all in response to those issues as well. So it, that's a, a difficult uh, alignment to make, but we do see some um, parallels when, when the economy is better in certain areas. So this isn't the highest number of complaints that consumer protections ever received by any means, but it is an increase over uh, the last few years, and we want to hear from consumers. We need to hear from consumers. They play an important role in our doing our job here at Consumer Protection to enforce the consumer protection laws and, and be sure that we're identifying the patterns and trends. We have other tools and means of doing that, but we rely on consumers to feed us that information. We also recognize recognize that consumers have many different forms to try and resolve their issues on their own. Um, we think it's fabulous when they go to the business and try and reach a resolution on their issues and do that communication. Um, and then there's social media platforms for them to complain to and reach resolution that way. But hearing the information from the consumer here at Consumer Protection really plays that important role in us doing that enforcement. And Laura talked about how we'll use that information for medical services. Absolutely. Again, it's hard to know what precipitates rather a consumer's complaint. It's a complicated issue. It's an, it's an emotional fraught issue. Um, it deals with people's health care. And it can be the, the contractual relationship between your health care provider and the hospital and the consumer is, is complex. And so it does, it would imagine generate more com complaints in certain areas. It is an important area uh, for us to be tracking, however, because <clears throat> as there are new healthcare systems being offered, as there is a significant amount of 
of shift in the healthcare uh, industry, that is when scam artists come around, when people are vulnerable and, and, and there are mountains of debt, you know, places where predation can take place, that's where you're going to see um, more scam artists. And so the complaints that consumers give us give us a direction to determine whether we need to be focusing our efforts in certain areas when it comes to healthcare services. Well, it's very important. At the very least, it can allow us to help them uh, resolve the issue, correct? I mean, we have some excellently trained mediators and investigators that can really dig in and resolve these uh, at the, you know, at the very beginning of the, of the conflict or if it needs to escalate into an investigation, they're prepared to do that as well. But it also gives us important data trends about what's happening to Wisconsinites and we need to be in touch with that. We need to understand when there is a new batch of um, telemarketing scams that are targeting a certain community or when there are um, new door-to-door uh, -door sales uh, individuals going through a certain community that we need to get out in front of. The data that we get um, from, from these consumer complaints are really important. So while we pay attention to what's going on, consumers' willingness to let us know what they're experiencing is, a, is really an important aspect of our ability to be effective in this space.